Fernando. Was that a good R roll? I don't know. Fernando is one of the oldest champions in Paladins, he is one of the simplest champions in Paladins, and in my opinion, he's also one of the most fun champions in Paladins, at least in the tank roster. Because, well, he's a champion all about being aggressive, making space, and yeah, he's mechanically simple to play, but he's also really fun, in part because of his simplicity, so it's really nice. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you what I consider to be the most fun Fernando plays style, which is with the talent Scorch, which is definitely not his most popular talent. Most people end up playing Aegis, and that's fine. I mean, <laughs> it's a very comfortable, consistent talent, and yeah, it's good, you know? It, it's just, yeah. It's what most people play, especially if they're not Fernando mains, and it's reliable. It gets it gets the job done, but it's not necessarily the most fun way to play Fernando, because there's a lot of shielding, you know, you're just sitting there holding up your shield a lot, and you can still play it aggressively and make space with it, but I think it's significantly more fun to do it with Scorch. And there are also some genuine merits to playing this talent that we'll talk about in this video that, I would say, makes it better than Aegis. It's a bit controversial, but there are some genuine reasons why this talent would be better than Aegis if you actually know what you're doing. So we're going to play Scorch here. We're going to use my Scorch Shield build, which has Towering Barrier for extra consistency on the shield, Incinerate for cooldown reduction on Fireball, and then Hot Pursuit for movement speed. And we're also going to start this match with Nimble. Our goal here is to make space. We want to get in the enemy's faces, push them back, be aggressive, do a bunch of damage, and then use our shield to kind of hold the line or retreat and reposition, right? So that's what we're doing here. And I guess we're actually pushing around flanking with Atlas here. Let's just go in. Boom, hit that fat fireball. Strix is already dead. First blood, easy peasy. Pop the shield there for a little bit of damage reduction. There's the double kill. Where is my healer? Thank you, Genos. I can't believe I didn't die there. <laughs> Let me shield again. And there we go. Look at that aggression. We just get right in their faces and that extra fireball damage enables us to really put the pressure on them. And that's the first merit of Scorch, obviously. You get extra damage. You don't get that damage with Aegis. You don't need me to tell you that. <laughs> that's obviously good. But the benefit of the extra damage actually goes beyond just what it is at face value, which is, you know, getting kills more easily. The extra damage you get also gives you extra ultimate charge, right? Because you generate ultimate charge based on the amount of damage you do. So, yeah, by doing 600 damage there, I get a lot more ultimate charge from that fireball than the base fireball. Especially if I hit multiple people and chain it up and get those 700, 800 damage fireballs, right? And the also, also the play style itself warrants more shooting, more fireballing, because you have less time to uh, hold your shield up, right? Uh, and so that also leads to do, doing even further damage and also supporting your team, helping your team get kills, right? And uh, that's really, really good as well. And all of that ultimate charge that you get from doing extra damage leads to you having more uptime on what is one of the best ultimates in the game, hands down. Fernando's ultimate is absurdly good. Uh, duh. Like, everyone knows that. It's one of the best. Makes everyone immortal for four seconds. There's no understating how good it is. So if you can have more uptime on that, that's a really good thing. And you want that. You want that a lot. Oh, that was huge. I'm just gonna make space. <laughs> I'm going in! Cancel it early, hit that fireball on Moldamba. There we go. Hold the shield up here, heal up. Beautiful. <clears throat> and so yeah, that genuinely is really good. And that's something you don't get with Aegis, right? Less ultimate charge with Aegis leads to fewer ultimates, leads to potentially less value for your team. Wow, Strix just got a quadrigal. He's popping off. He's insane. Uh, let's do more nimble. Let's get some uh let's do some chrono stuff next. Wait, what did I just buy? Ah, what the heck? I'm source bugging out. All right, we got some Kronos. <clears throat> Another great thing about Scorch, though, actually has to do with the new item store. Um, because, as I'm sure you know by now, there is a damage reduction split, where you have two items for damage reduction now. One of them provides damage reduction versus weapons, and one of them provides damage reduction versus abilities. And most people end up buying armor plating because, well, let's face it, most damage in this game comes from weapons. But Scorch is an ability. So... The enemies are basically never going to buy Arcane Warding. And that means, when they have maxed out armor plating, your fireball is still going to be doing 600 damage, and that's a huge burst to have. Um, and yeah, there's pretty much nothing they can do about it, right? They have to use other means of damage reduction to actually... Um... Oh, live! No, I'm a failure. I'm a failure of a Fernando Bane. 
Yeah, they basically just have to like, like raw damage reduction from their uh, cards, or they have to actually spec into armor pl uh, arcane warding to counter you, or they just have to uh, buy veteran. But that's not nearly as strong as the damage resistance you would get from one of the other two items, right? So it kind of puts them into a bit of a pickle, and it makes this talent even more valuable than it was even last patch, where most of what I've already said is true. The extra ultimate charge, the extra pressure on the enemies, the extra credits you get from dealing more damage, right? All of that. All of that was still true last patch, but this patch you have that added benefit as well, and that's really cool. Now granted, this talent is a lot harder to play than Aegis, and that's why Aegis is the most consistent talent, the most played talent, right? The most popular talent for Fernando, and still what I usually recommend players play with Fernando if they're not a Fernando main, if they just need a consistent, you know, play style for Fernando, right? And you can still play aggressively with it and make space, for sure. But, yeah, if you are skillful with Fernando, this talent can be very valuable. And in my opinion, it's also just way more fun than Aegis. With Aegis, it's not really that much fun for either team, right? Because for the Fernando, you're just holding your shield up a lot. For everyone else, you know, at least on the enemy team, you just end up shooting shields a lot, and that's not fun either. No one likes just shooting shields over and over again. So, this is more fun for all parties involved, right? More fun for Fernando. Less shielding, more damage. More fun for the enemies. You're not shooting shields as much. And Fernando's actually playing aggressive and playing in an interesting play style instead of just holding his shield up all the time. So that's another reason why I really like this talent. But yeah, it's still definitely not necessarily the meta for Fernando. What could be done to change that is, uh, I guess, what I want to talk about next. Personally, I think the damage is fine. I think the damage of Scorch is really good. It's good burst, especially with the uh, the damage reduction split now. It's very consistent. Ooh, well done, Fear. That was well-timed. Mm -mm. So yeah, I don't think you need to buff the burst. I think something as small as just giving it one extra second of cooldown reduction would genuinely be enough. I think that would just be so nice and valuable for this talent. And uh, yeah. Then at that point, you know, Aegis would still be viable, and it would still be the shield talent, but Scorch would provide really consistent good damage, and that would be really nice for Fernando, because I want Scorch to be meta again. I want Flank Nando meta to be a thing, like it was way back in my day. Because <laughs> it used to be the meta for Fernando, back before Aegis got reworked into a, uh, a resource meter. Fun fact, it actually used to be a cooldown. This used to be like an extra four seconds of cooldown reduction, if I recall correctly. Uh, oh, Atlas got touched. Nice. Nice job. Uh, I will hold the point here. Now that your shield is down, I will put my shield up. That did not last very long. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Another fact about Scorch is, um, you know, in a situation like that where you have a lot of Wrecker, right? Especially if you have, like, let's say, Fernando and Torvald on the same team. The enemies are going to be destroying your shield instantly, and with both talents, you don't have a shield effectively. Because of how much damage they're doing to it. So, yeah. With Scorch, you get extra damage. With Aegis, you don't. And with both talents, you don't get a shield. When you have, let's say, Octavia and Dredge drilling away with Wrecker at your shield, which they don't even have Wrecker, and they still destroy my shield in the second flat. So, yeah, that's just another last fact about Aegis here. But now I kind of want to focus more on the gameplay. Let's try and win this game. We, um... <laughs> we got stream sniped again. Even though I'm recording, I still somehow am uh, getting stream sniped, which is just ridiculous. Um... And yeah, they're on my team this time, so... <laughs> yeah, it's almost like we're just in my stream, right? That's very silly. Uh, oh man, he stopped my charge as well. Thank goodness we have the Atlas Wall. Me and him are just trying to stagger our shields here. I'm going to get my shield up here now. Uh, let me throw that Fireball, do some damage. I don't think I'm going to push that super hard right now, though. Yeah, this is a very high-stakes game. I mean, you saw the loading screen, right? <laughs> A lot of Grandmaster Borders. We got XSDB Stealthy in here on my team. And, of course, me on the Scorch Fernando. Type of high-stakes game that I like. Love to see it, honestly. Let's fireball that dredge. There we go. Ooh, you made a mistake, sir. You made a mistake. Do not drop. Get staggered. Throw that up there. Oh, I don't have the angle on that. Fireball! Ooh, yeah, predict that perfectly. Uh, oh, Stealthy might die. I'm going to pop around the left. Because that's where they're coming from. Let me throw that fireball. Uh, seems like Strix is still just really far behind. There's Octavia there as well. I'm gonna shield and wait for my fireball to come back. Get fireball that now, get the bonus damage. I actually did the same amount of damage because of their intrinsic damage reduction. That's kind of funny. Uh, I'll do some damage to Dredge right now, but I really just need to back it up. 
I only have Geno's healing, I, so I have to be a bit more cautious with my positioning. Luckily, I'm able to use the shield to just kind of let it, you know, heal me out of cauterize. I can let it, you know, just wear off and then tick me back up slowly, and that's really good. Ah, uh, fireball there. That was pretty chunky. I'm going to back out, though. Let's shield this and just wait. Yeah, look at all that. All that healing from the Genos. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, maybe I'll get some Rejuvenate for him. Normally I don't buy Rejuvenate for Genos, but it seems like I'm actually getting a lot of value out of his marks right now. So I might just do it anyways. Alright, we'll shield this. Inara's actually going up. Nice playing some flying Inara. Uh, ooh, that's bad for me. Genos is dead as well. I might just die here. I'm not going to ult. I'm going to save it for the next cap. Because it's just so important to have, right? The Mark is still healing me, and I'm actually... <laughs> I wasn't cauterized there for the longest time because I was somehow being missed by Inara. I don't know how you miss Fernando with Inara. I mean, I'm pretty chunky, but, um... Okay. Ooh, nice. Line him up with that fireball. Put the shield down, just trying to do some more damage there. I don't have an Astral Mark on me, though, so I'm going to heal up. Thank you, Genos. Let me throw that out. Got a lot of damage reduction, though. All right, let me do that. Throw the fireball out there. I actually miss Strix. Please don't make me ult. Okay, I got my shield up. Oh, and she gets locked off of point by Atlas. Well done. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm glad to see we have a very good Atlas on the team. That's nice. Always love to see it. I will do some more Kronos, and we will also... Yeah, we'll do some Rejuvenate. Why not? I also wanted to check and make sure I was recording. I actually... <laughs> this, is so, this is so embarrassing. I actually... This isn't the first time I'm recording the Scorch video. I actually recorded a video that I would say actually went better than this one right now. Although the matchmaking is certainly really good. But I think my commentary was better than the previous one. <laughs> uh, and uh, I... I you know, I was really happy with the video. I was like, oh, yeah, that's great. End off the video. Look over to the right. I wasn't recording. I forgot to press the button. Uh, it's so sad. I'm having to stop, go, stop, go, start recording, stop recording, start recording, stop recording all day today. Because, like I said a few videos ago, I'm, uh, I'm recording a bunch of videos in preparation for some IRL stuff, which means, you know, I'm just spending a day here basically recording a bunch of videos back to back to back to back. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, that means a lot of... Toggling OBS on and off, and I guess sometimes you just get confused, forget to press the on button, you know. Go and get a drink, come back, forget to press the record button. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> um, okay, I'll let General's cap points. I'm going to make some space here. Let me fireball you and just push that Inara back. Put my shield up now. Um, oh, he actually hit above that shield. Okay. I was... I had my finger on the old button, I just didn't do it. I definitely should have done it there. Now we're actually going to have to retreat here completely reset. We're not capping because Geno's died. We lost Atlas. Eevee's gonna get staggered. Yeah. That was a bad play on my part, I have to say. Um, hopefully Dredge will be okay here. Uh-oh. Okay, he portaled away. That's good. Uh, Strix knows I'm coming. I'm just gonna wait. Dredge is actually 1 HP. That is insane. Throw that fireball out. I have my ult. I'm just gonna shield up here and try and hold here. Let's block that. And then I'm actually going to cancel it early, just to keep them on their toes, right? That's actually something I've learned to do with Fernando, is sometimes it is actually a good plan to cancel your ult early. The reason is, if you just let it last the full du uh, duration, the enemies can actually time that, right? And predict it. Because it lasts for four seconds, so four seconds later the enemies can just slam you with their abilities. If you cancel it early, because you have your dash, and then you just dash away, you'll actually, you know, be unpredictable. And that can be a good way to actually get some survivability, and that's exactly what I did there. I think it worked. You don't want to do it all the time. Sometimes you need to last the full four seconds. But it can be beneficial. Also, holy crap, that is so much damage I'm taking. <laughs> ah! We're actually not going to cap this here. I think I need to play a bit more passively. Which is a shame, because I like playing aggressively with Fernando. But they are just deleting all my damage. Uh, or deleting all my health with all their damage. And so... We are just struggling. And I can't really push up as far as I want. Let me shield this here. Block that Abyss Spike real quick. Oh, Dredge, he's flying in. Took a lot of damage doing that, though. I'm going to fight them around this corner here if I can. My shield. Got Strix in my face. You'll notice I'm still getting a lot of shield uptime, even without Aegis, because I have the cooldown card at level 5, and I have Kronos. I'm like, yeah, I have another shield right now. Pretty sure it's like a 6-second cooldown, I think I saw. So... Yeah, it's definitely not Aegis uptime, but it is still good uptime on the shield. Good enough that you can still make a lot of space very comfortably. With, yeah, Scorch, not the shield talent. 
I do see a lot of people use, uh, you know, other cards for the fireball, like just max out the speed card or something. And that's good, you know? It can be fun. Um, and I know my build is actually a bit on the unconventional side, because actually, yeah, there aren't a lot of people using the shield card in it. But I think the shield card really does add a lot of value. I think it does help out a lot. Um, and I've enjoyed using it for Scorch, personally. I think it makes it more comfortable to actually make space successfully, instead of going all in on the memes of the speed, right? Uh, poor Eevee. Fernando's, or, uh, Strix is trying to pop off here. I'll throw the fireball back there. Wow, what is... Dude, that was like barely any shots at all, and I'm dead to Octavia. Strix only hit me once. Octavia just does 3,000 damage that quickly. Winter Cup Champion 2022. I didn't even realize her title. Yeah, that's insane. I'm definitely feeling it. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, let me pop around here. I'm revealed, but that's okay. Looks like nobody's in that hallway. I'm just gonna shield here. Let me dash back. I don't want to hold them there. I want to hold them around this corner. Because I can use this corner just as cover, right? Do a lot of damage to Inara. Push her back. We got the Atlas Wall. Fireball there. Let me shield. Ooh, she's trying to go up. Just continue to do some damage there. Alright, Fireball. Oh, that was fat. Let's go. Fireball there. I'm just going to hold my shield here. We got some space, thankfully. But Fireball there. Good kill on Strix. Do not push up there. Oh, Stealthy, where are you going? I just threw that into the wall like a dummy. Let me shield this for Atlas. Okay, he's got his shield up. Let me throw that Fireball there. Do some damage to Inara. They do not push this here. I'm definitely going to save my ult here. We got to keep it for the cap. Just to survive their relentless damage. There we go. We got it. I'm greedy! Fireball, come back! Ah, oh, no, I can't kill her. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna do some Master Writing as our final item here. Just to push in a little bit harder. Inara actually bought Arcane Warding. That's interesting. I guess we do have a pretty fair split. If he was going Snow Globe, it would be even more of a reason to go Arcane Warding. But she's going over the moon, so a lot of reason to use Armor Plating instead. And Dredge is using Abyss Spike, which is a lot of ability damage as well, so... Two big ability damagers here between me and Fernando. And I guess that's why Inara is so tanky, huh? All of that DR, all of that Rejuve, plus Mother's Grace, plus Kronos. Jeez. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you notice the rest of them are not buying Arcane Warding at all, which means my Fireball is still doing full damage. And by golly, it feels good. Uh, poor Genos, not able to get these ults off here. Alright, I'm gonna push up around this side. I can't really do that much damage, though. Yeah, this is a lost cause. Let me run away. Got the Atlas Wall. Let me go for another Fireball. Up there, 600 damage. Octavia's low. If Eevee can capitalize on that. Oh, I can't see. I'm gonna ult. Oh, Eevee's dead. Alright. Uh, that was a bit of a failure then. I need to back up, and we need to build more ult charge. Stat. Uh, throw that Fireball there. That totally missed the dredge. Thank goodness it's just a Nara. Oh my gosh, dude. If there were more... Oh, what? God, that was a ton of damage. They just have so much damage. Ah, my shield isn't able to stay alive. I'm not able to stay alive. Gosh. Okay, Eevee gets the kill on Octavia. That's good. We need to get more touch here. Atlas should have touch. I'm going to actually try and push back their dredge then. I'm just going to let Atlas hold the point for a sec here. Just dash through. There's a bunch of damage. He portals down here. Fireball. There we go. He's dead. Clip the Inara with that as well. And now I'm going to tag on point for Atlas. We got overtime, but Inara is really struggling here. Dash through. There we go. She's dead. Huge. And now we have control of the point, but we got to hold this and we got to not fail on the zoning. The last few times I died on the zoning. So I want to be very careful here. I'm not going to play super aggressively. I'm probably just going to play like right here. Hit a fireball and then I'm going to dash away. Fireball there. Alright, let me get the shield up and let me rotate back on point now. Hold that shield up. Yeah, just have Octavia spam into it. Alright, there's that. I need to go now. Need to have another overtime touch from Atlas. I guess I'm gonna have to go for it. There we go. And I was really low. No, I didn't get my shield up in time. The wall went down. I couldn't put the shield up fast enough. That's just too much damage. Atlas is stalling on point, but he's the last one alive and it looks like we do end up losing this game. Man, that was a really close game though, I have to say. That was a good game. Sad that we lost that, but they had such overwhelming damage from Octavia and Dredge. Controller Octavia is really just <laughs> super strong. One of the strongest champions in the game when you plug her in on a controller. I got seven kills there, which is 
yeah, lower than pretty much everyone except the supports. But um, we were still able to do 132,000 damage there. Look at all that damage. 120,000 shielding as well. We really just had a lot of high stats that game. Still got a good amount of objective time too. But man, look at all the damage coming out from their team. 145,000 damage. Their dredge was better than ours, surprisingly. Uh, and also, yeah, Octavia as well. 145,000 damage, 146,000 damage out of Strix. We had, we faced, I faced down a pro circuit player and a Winter Cup champion 2022, uh, and I, <laughs> with Scorch, managed to make that last match 3-3 three to three with help from my team. That was pretty good. <laughs> uh, that, that was, uh, yeah, we didn't win, but I think that was still a successful match. Um, and a very fun match, too. So, yeah, I'm glad to see it. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about Scorch. Do you think there's actually merit to playing this talent, or am I just loopy? Would we have won if I played Aegis? I don't think so. I think we would have lost either way. But, um, yeah, let me know all that in the comment section down below. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.